Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch and welcome back to my Iron Man account. As for last episode, I got some more massive goals done, being Dragon Slayer 2. If I open up the loot tab here, we'll see we got 100 kill count. At Zolra, I managed to get myself that lovely, lovely blowpipe. Also, another 50 runs at Barrows, where I got a ridiculous amount of items, including a very nice Carol Top, which I've been searching for for a very long time. As, long as, as well as a lot of pulls at Temporos, getting myself the Tome of Water. So I would like to follow suit this episode and work on some more big upgrades. I would like to head back to Vorkath and see if I can get myself 50kc to get myself an upgraded uh, Ava's Accumulator, but I've never done a Vorkath kill even after the quest, so I'll see how I go with that. I wish to upgrade my house to get the highest tier of jewellery box. And yes, I struggle saying jewellery. I don't know what it is, but I've just, my whole fucking life, I've just had trouble trying to say jewellery. I, I can't do it! Leave me alone! And then I want to head back to Temporos so I can work on getting the uh, imbued liar for the unlimited teleports to Relica. And of course, I'm going to head back to Zora. And there's also another elite diary, which I believe I can now complete. But kicking things off, if I go ahead and zoom out, you will see that I am at the quest start for A Kingdom Divided. And there are two reasons why I would like to get this quest out of the way. One, obviously, being the thralls which are introduced with this quest, which I've been told are useful at a handful of bosses. I'm not ex exactly sure which ones, but I'd like to get the quest out of the way anyways for the future, for when I do use them. And there is also a respawn point around here somewhere that I'm pretty sure is the closest one to a bank, um, disregarding the two that you pay for, being the Ferox Enclave and Edgeville. So, yeah, for whenever I die, which is these days is a lot, should get me pretty close to a bank on spawn. So let's kick things off with A Kingdom Divided. And there we go, there is A Kingdom Divided complete. And not only do I get the new respawn point, along with the ability to get myself thralls, but I also get a nice little 10k reward lamp, which of course, goes straight onto Herblor. And now next on my list of things to do is Vorkath. Now I would like to get a 50 kill count, but as I said previously, I have not even killed one uh, post quest. But, regardless of that, I'm still going to send some and see how I go. And I was just looking through some gear setups, and the Salve Amulet Imbued is actually highly recommended. So, I think I'm going to go to Nightmare Zone, get some points, and imbue it. So, I just finished up and got myself enough points now. And not going to lie, that took a lot longer than what I remember it. There we go, 800k points for a very nice Salve Amulet EI. Looks pretty cool, too. Oh, and apparently that was an elite task for the Arty area, too. <laughs> it's nice to get out of the way passively. Alright, time to make some bolts and give Vorkaf a crack. Wish me luck. There we go, there is Vorkaf kill number one. Pretty successful. Four minute time, not too bad. Some pretty nice loot. Alright, I feel pretty comfortable. I feel like I'll be able to smash out 50 kills and get the backpack. I was just looking at the loot table too, and it seems like it is very Iron Man friendly. It looks like a lot of uh, supply drops in there, so... I feel like this is going to be a pretty fun grind. Well, if you can call 50 kills a grind, but I feel like it'll be a pretty fun time doing this, getting some supplies along the way. Vorkaf kill number two for some dragon dart tips. Very nice. There is kill number three for a Raph talisman. Okay, something different. Also, my first ever set of Raph runes as well, but uh, I won't record every kill now. I think I'll just cut back if anything interesting happens, and if not, I'll see you at 50 kill count. Dragon Bolts Unfinished. Ah, there's another new drop that I've never seen before on the account. Very nice. Oh, there's a very nice drop. Dragon Legs. This is my first ever set of Dragon Legs. Ah, very, very nice. I've been hanging a long time for a pair of them. And I remember back in the day, I was one of them people that could not afford Dragon Legs, so I used to buy the Dragon Skirt, just because it was a little bit cheaper. Don't judge me. So if you're wondering where the spawn point was after a kingdom divided, it's right fucking here, because I just died. Well, I'll eat my hat if that isn't a new PB. It definitely felt faster. Yep, 242. Very nice. And there we go. There's the halfway point now. Only 25 kills to go. Quick little look at the loot tab halfway in. 3.3 mil. Not too shabby at all. So I just fucking walloped him that kill. 223 for a new PB. Very nice. And there's a very nice level coming in. Level 90 range. And there we go, that should be the final hit for kill count number 50. And you know what that means? There it is, the four calf head. Alrighty, let's go get this upgrade. And also, if we take a look at the loot tracker here after 50 kills, 6.73 mil, very nice. Got some pretty awesome prayer XP there, 100 bones, and I've got some dragon bone drops as well. Yeah, 51 dragon bones, 139 mana rays, a lot of dragon hide for crafting, and a shitload of Alks. I've got 13 rune kite shields for over 400k in Alks. Very, very nice. 
Alrighty, so I don't believe I'm missing anything. Uh, devices, Ava's assembler. Oh, <laughs> let me back that bad boy on. There it is. The best range cape slash backpack in the game. I can't actually believe I've got it done. Very, very nice. Not gonna lie, Vorkaf was actually really fun too. I think uh, whenever I get a blue dragon task, I'll probably do like 25 or 50 kills there at a time. Uh, if I get a task for like 150, that's just way too many. That'll take me like two or three days to do. But uh, anyways, I also got myself a medium casting just when I was running around picking up imps for sweet fuck all. And now with that done, it's time to move on to my next goal, which is construction. I only need one more level and then I can boost up using a cup of tea and my crystal saw. And then I can make myself the ornate jewelry box. And as you can see in the chat box, I need to buy myself a couple of gold leaves and I've only got 50k cash, so... I'll go use a couple of them Alks from Vorkaf and then work on some construction. So I've been doing Mahogany Homes for a little while now and if I open up the collection log, have a look in the minigames, Mahogany Homes, you'll see that all I'm currently missing is Amy's saw, the blueprints, and the supply crate, and I've got myself a fair whack of points now, so I think I will buy myself Amy's saw and also a supply crate. The supply crates give bugger all, I'm pretty sure. I'll, um, I'll whack one open. Whoop, I didn't even buy it. Let's try that again. One supply crate. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's why it didn't work. Just the one. So I think it gives some steel bars and whatnot. No, oh, not even oak planks that I'm not going to use. Very nice. <laughs> it's always nice to see those collection log items pop up. And uh, if you didn't know, Amy's saw is just basically a wieldable saw, so that'll hold me, um, save me one more inventory slot, which is nice. I'm starting to look like a true carpenter with my foreman hanging off my back. Take a little sip of my cuppa, and that should be 85 construction, a very clean looking level. Now let's go put in this jewelry box. Alrighty, just made myself another cup of tea. I seem to be drinking these a lot today. Let's have a little sip, and now I should be able to upgrade to the final tier. Yes, I can. And in all honesty, <laughs> it's really not that useful. Um, probably the best ones now, obviously I already have a glory in the house, but the Michelina will be nice, but I can just use the fairy ring for that. Grand Exchange, obviously don't need. Falador Park, actually very nice for the music step in uh, the clues. And Dodekin's Rock, I believe that's right near the Stonemason. I'm actually going to have a look. I'm pretty sure it's near the Stonemason. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, yes it is. It's very close. Yep. So that'll be nice as well for clues. And now with that done, it's time to move on to goal number four. And that is to get myself the Upgraded Liar. And the reason I would like this item is because it gives me unlimited teleports to Waterbirth Island. And also unlimited teleports to Fremenic, which I'd really like because I've only got the Fremenic Sea Boots free and I can only use one telly per day. And there's a fair few clue steps around that area. And once I complete the Fremenic Elite Diaries, it also unlocks two more teleports, being the telly to Nita's Knot and one to Yatizo, which there is also a lot of clue steps in that area too. So yeah, just all around would be a very nice item to have. And because I currently have the hard Fremenic Diaries complete, I only need 400 each of the fish that you see here, being Shark, raw sea turtles, manta rays, and bass. And I'm going to go about it the same way that I did last video, and that is heading back to Temporos. I reckon another 50 kills, getting me from 200 to 250, should hopefully be enough, and if not, then I'll just hang around a little bit longer and get those extra manta rays. So it's probably going to be my home for the next 6 hours or so, but let's go smash out some Temporos. Also, how good is my little fisherman outfit that I got on? <laughs> I love it. I don't think I'll ever get over the running animation of this anchor. So as I've previously mentioned, just in my AFK time, I've been ticking away at Motherload Mine, working towards 92 mining for Amethyst, and there is level 82. And there we go, just finished off another 50 kills, leaving me at 250 total kill count at Temporos, with also 251 reward points, which is pretty nice. Now open up the collection log, and have a look, we'll see that all I'm currently missing is the harpoon in pet, which are 1 in 8k, and the big harpoon fish, which is 1 in 1.6, so not expecting anything, but you met it, you never know. All I'm really looking for here is 157 raw manta rays and then I can upgrade my liar. So let's see how we go. Well, not gonna lie, that's pretty disappointing. Still a roughly 50 manta rays short, so I'm gonna have to be here for a while longer. I guess I'll do another 25 runs and see how I go. Well, I've given up and decided to do fishing trawler instead. <laughs> so there's some... No! I just discarded them! Fuck! <laughs> Oh, what I was trying to say is I'm just going to do Fishing Trawler for my Manta Rays because it's faster, but fuck me, never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and there we go, I finally have myself enough raw Manta Rays. I also found out that it's an elite arty task to actually catch and cook one here as well, so i just done that while I was at it. <sighs> Alright, let's go get this liar. 
Now, I've never done this before, so I really hope I don't fuck it up. Permanent liar enchantment. That will never fade, yes. Present offering. God, I probably should have read the dialogue. <laughs> now, that's it. That is it. Play, and now I now have unlimited teleports and a cool little animation. To Relica, and also unlimited teleports to Waterbirth Island. And as I said, once I have the Fremenic Elite Diaries, also Yatizo and Need Is Not. Oh, that's very, very nice to get out of the way. And now with that done, it's time to move back onto Zolra. And I want to get another 100 kills done. I believe I took off on 300 last time. Yeah, finished off on 300 kills. Very, very spoon-fed so far with the Tanzanite Fang and the Magic Fang. Just searching for that Serp Helm, so... I'm going to go craft up some supplies and then do 100 more kills. See how we go. And there is the first kill back for some Runite Ore. Not bad. Alright, I guess I'll just cut back on any milestones or hopefully any nice drops. 16 kills down and there is an Elite Clue Scroll. I'll go smash that out real quick. Alrighty, have myself a casket and for the reward, we get a Master Clue. Okay, apart from that, absolutely terrible. <laughs> So I'm a couple of steps down and it seems like I need to go and do myself a bit more questing because as you can see in the top left here I need to get myself some basalt and you get that through the quest making friends is my arm which I have not done so time to get questing. Snowflake in my arm forever. <laughs> and there we go, there is making friends with my arm complete. A nice 10k agility and mining XP, which are always welcome. And as well as that, I also get myself a new disease free herb patch. Also, the fire pits all around the game, I'm sure you all know what they are. Um, I will do that in the future, <laughs> I don't really want to do it right now. I've got too many things on my plate. And also, the salt mines where I can unlock the teleports to. I think there's two, there's one to get one here and one also to the rooftop of the Troll Stronghold. And now with that done, I can mine myself some basalt, and i got no idea which fucking rocket is in here, but I'll figure it out, <laughs> and then I can get a wriggle on with that master clue. Alrighty, and for the reward... Oh my goodness me, Samurai Greaves, very nice. Let me chuck those bad boys on. Ah, <laughs> very suave. You know what's even better than those Samurai Greaves, though? 50 motherfucking wines of Zamorak. I'll take those any day. And it's always nice to see the collection log pop up for Master Clues, because they're uh, usually pretty far and few between. Alright, back to Zalra, see if I can snag myself a Serp Helm. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, it has been a very long time since I snagged myself a mystery box. Is this the day where I get the stale baguette? Oh, <laughs> cabbage. Fuck. Ah, there's another Elite Clue scroll coming in. Go smash that out. And for the reward... Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Well, it was only a matter of time till I got a dupe, so I definitely cannot complain, but there is a second Magic Fang. Oh my god, I was literally googling the other uses for the Magic Fang, because I knew there was more than one, and it is. You can put it on the uh, Staff of the Dead. I completely forgot I was Venom, and I just fucking died, so I'm glad I picked that Magic Fang up. Rest in peace to 100k, though. That sucks. Also, I didn't even realise, but that last kill was a new PB as well. 143, very nice. End of the halfway point now, kill 350 for shit all actually. <laughs> oh, you're having a fucking laugh. There is a second blowpipe as well, and I'll remember to fucking cure my venom this time first before I research it. But either way, if I can't do anything with it, it's a free 20k scales, which is very nice. Yep, seems like the blowpipe is the only use for it, so I'll go ahead and dismantle it for 20k scales, very good. 16 kills remaining, and I get myself another elite, seem to be getting pretty lucky so far. Alrighty, I got myself an easy along with the elite. So for the easy, we get oh, a red elegant blouse, very nice. And for the elite, we get ah, cash is cash, I'll take it. What even is this midriff here? <laughs> and there we go, there is kill number 400 for some pretty trash loot to be honest. But uh, let me go ahead and tell you on out of here. Have a look at this loot tracker. 30 mil value, <laughs> holy shit, for 100 Zolra kills. Not sure why it says 99. Obviously getting very lucky with the drops, getting myself a Tanzanite Fang and a Magic Fang. Unfortunately, could not manage to get myself that uh, Serpentine Helm. 
Also very nice to see all these dragon bones and farming XP and smithing XP. <laughs> it just all works out very well. And now with that done, it's time to move on to my final goal, which is actually the Falador Elite Diaries. And since the release of Guardians of the Rift, it's actually made this diary a lot easier. The 88 runecrafting requirement actually only needs 66 now with three pieces of the, I can't remember the name of the outfit, but the Guardians of the Rift outfit. So I'll do that very soon, and I also need to get myself 80 agility, and obviously I could just boost up the one level, but I'm going to need higher agility in the future anyway, so I think I'd rather just get the agility level. And I don't know about you, but I reckon my Karamjin monkey needs a little bit of an upgrade, and if I do myself 250 laps, I can actually get the zombie monkey. So that's the plan, and then once I've finished that, I'm just going to move on to the Sears Village rooftop course to finish off the XP and get 80. So let's see how we go. And there we go, there is 250 laps complete. Oh, it actually comes up in the chat box, I didn't know that. But I can now transform my monkey into a zombie monkey. So let me go ahead and take off my Grigri. Always nice to see the collection log pop up. And there he is. Hang on, let me get more out in the open. <laughs> very, very nice. Let me move this vine. Ah, yes, that's actually really nice. I definitely prefer that pre uh, to the previous two. <laughs> yep, I'm into it, I'm into it. Alright, time to move on to the Sears course and knock out 80 agility. Just slip on down this edge here and this should be level 80 agility, a very clean looking level. Always nice to see another skill in the 80s. And now with that done, it's time to move on over to Guardians of the Rift and get myself three pieces of the outfit so I can complete the runecrafting requirement in the diary. And if I take a little peek in the collection log, we'll see that I only have the one piece at the moment and I am very close to getting myself the row bottoms. I believe I only need yeah, another 43 more pearls. So I think I'll just do 25 chests at a time and then open up the reward guardian over here and see how we go. Well, apparently I missed a level at some stage, but there is level 76 runecrafting. Only 10 levels to go until 2k total. That is actually insane. Alrighty, smashed out another 25 runs and I have myself just over 80 reward points and I only need another 43 for the next piece of the outfit, so let's see how we go. And just rolling down the last couple of pulls now and I definitely got way more than enough Abyssal Pearls. And for the last couple, there we go, I managed to get myself another uh, Catalytic Talisman as well. And for the intricate pouches, we get Astral Runes, which I actually really needed, so that's pretty damn nice. Alrighty, let's run over to the bank. Get myself out the pearls. Where's the fella I need to speak to? Felix, pretty nice name by the way. Uh, Row bottoms of the eye. Yes. There we go. And I have 130 left. I only need, I think it's 250. Yeah, 250 for the boots. So I think I'll just do probably 10 runs at a time and then open up the chest and then yeah, I only need another 120. So shouldn't be too long. And a pretty huge level coming in right now, level 77 runecrafting. I believe that unlocks blood runecrafting. Yep, sure does. And I can also boost up to do the Fremenic Elite Diaries. There is also 82 runecrafting requirement for that. So, a very nice level to unlock. Just taking a small break from runecrafting to work on the 1300 kills that I need on the Black Knights to purchase myself the White Two-Handed Sword. And I actually completely forgot that I already got this uh, little wriggle on of this a while ago. I already got 800 kills because I needed to get myself, I think it was white legs and plate legs for a master clue. So that was very nice to see. And there we go. As you can see in the chat box, white knight master. 1300 kills. So I can now buy myself that two-handed sword. And all that is left between me and the diary completion is the runecrafting. And there is level 78 runecrafting. And I think I'm going to crack open a few rewards now and see if I can get lucky. Ah, oh, there we go, my first ever die, and it's actually the blue die with the one I was planning on using, so that works out very well. Let me suss this out real quick, I'm assuming I just use it with it. Um, yes, I do wish to recolor it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's actually beautiful, I really like it. And just winding down now for the last few pulls, and as you can see I definitely got more than the 120 pearls that I needed, so that'll get me my third piece, the boots. Crack open these intricate pouches for ah, bugger all. So if I go ahead and once again trade Felix and grab myself the boots of the eye. Always nice to see the collection log slots coming up. Throw that on and now I should be able to fully complete the Felidor Elite Diaries. And there we go, final task complete. So I have a quick yarn with Cerebral and he should hook me up with my 50k lamp. Should get me a level also I'm pretty sure. 
Yep, 84 Herbal, looking at, what are we at? 1993 total level now, god damn. And a quick little look in the diaries, to see it fully greened out now, that is two Elite Diaries, fully complete. And to be honest, the Felidor Diaries aren't massively useful. Uh, I do get a disease-free tree patch now in the Felidor Park, which is very nice. And also, a, I think it's a higher chance to get a higher ore while at Motherlode Mine, which is very nice as well. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish things off. So, we have a little look at the loot tab, just for a quick recap. 180 pulls at Guardians of the Rift for 1.5 mil. Another 100 Zola kills for a Tanzanite Fang and a Magic Fang. Free Elite Clues, nothing special as per usual. You, uh, new Unique in the Easies. Uh, Samurai Greaves from a Master Clue, which is very nice. Another 261 pulls at Temporos. Bugger all in a medium, and of course, the 50 Vorkaf kills. So, I'll end things off now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.